If you're having trouble drawing lips, just draw a straight line, then draw a bird. Tatakai. Alright, so let's start with this baby. So I get that this is an art style and you're trying to make everything desaturated on purpose, which isn't bad. But I really do not recommend making her eyes this light. It kind of makes her look blind. Like imagine Toph from Avatar. So I'm just making her eyes more defined like this. Give it a wing, yassify her, and just darken the iris. By the way, this was submitted to me and I chose this photo because they said in the description that they were trying to draw this girl named Karina. So for today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to capture the likeness of someone. So let's just basically paint over a couple things here. See, this part of the face right here, that's the cheekbone, which means that it's a high point of the face. So you have to make it brighter to make the face look more 3D, like this. And then shade the other part. I mean, it depends on the lighting though. By the way, in case you're wondering why she switched eye colors, I'm basically just basing the color on the original reference, which which is sort of bluer in general. To be honest with you guys, this video is less of a fixing art video and more of a how I would draw it video. Come on guys, you know how clickbait my titles can be. So now let's move on to the other part of the eye. So if you're gonna compare this to the original, it looks even weirder to be honest. We got those little googly eyes just staring right at your soul. But no worries, trust the process. For the nose, literally just make make everything smoother. Now, let's proceed to the juicy lips. So here the lips are kind of drooping down, but if you compare it to the reference, her lower lips are ultra juicy. If you're having trouble drawing lips, just draw a straight line, then draw a bird. Tatakai. And then I'm just gonna make the lips redder. Ah yes, seductive lips. Okay, wait, I have ADHD, so I'm just gonna fix the eye first. Okay, so going back, the skin above the upper part of the lips is what we call as the Cupid's bow. And we're gonna highlight that baby just like that. Also highlight these two parts. Don't forget to add the seductive highlight to finish off the lips. So at this point, I'm looking at my reference and wondering what the hell is wrong with it. Because it looks nowhere like the original photo and it looks nowhere like the reference too. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do? So right now I'm trying to fix the eyes thinking that they're the problem but it just keeps getting weirder okay because usually when you're trying to capture the likeness of somebody you really have to capture the eyes that's the most important but you know i'm not too sure about that i just read that in a facebook comment but then I realized it's the chin. She has a very narrow jaw, narrow chin, so I just made it smaller like that. To be honest, you can exaggerate a lot of the features like the eyes, make them bigger like that. Just make sure that their defining features are there. Anyway, I'm just gonna go do the hairline next. For the hairline, don't make it fade off like that. Instead, draw a defined shape. Just fill it with a solid color. I did that for the hair as well. So what we're gonna do for the hairline, instead of making it gradient, I'm gonna use a custom brush, it's in the description. So let's just try this on. Okay, this doesn't look bad. It kinda leaves these stretch mark thingies, so let's just smoothen it out. Nice. Now let's do the other side. When you're like shading hair, don't use a lot of colors because it's gonna appear muddy. Also simplify the shading. So her hair is kind of textured, so it's kind of harder for me, but yeah, simplify everything, just use about like four colors maybe. Next, I'm gonna remove all her jewelry and clean up her neck. When you're doing accessories, draw them on a separate layer. I really recommend that. So for now, let's smoothen everything on the neck. We're gonna add the collarbones right there, add a bunch of shadows. And then I added the feather thingies from the reference. Anyway, let's do a quick before and after real quick. If we're gonna compare these two, 
The silhouette is almost the exact same, like I didn't change the silhouette at all. The nose and lips are also in the same places. If we're gonna completely ignore the change of color, the biggest change I did was the eyes. Like literally, the eyes make or break your art. And also the juicy lips. So anyway, we're gonna draw the jewelry, which I hate it so much, okay? Like even in the first video, accessories are so hard to do, but it gives personal personality to the drawing, to be honest. I started off with a very pathetic attempt, okay? Which was very pathetic. I deleted it. But for this part right here, I just slapped on a glitter texture. Okay, let's just add shadows, you know, to cover up the patheticness of my drawing. Then I'm gonna add a bunch of these circles. Watch me struggle for like five minutes straight. And it occurred to me that there is actually a circle tool, idiot. So basically, I just slapped them on again. Holy crap, it looks like a drawing I did on Microsoft Paint when I was a kid. But okay, let's shade it. I also used the border effect option thingy to add an outline to the earrings. It, it kind of ties the whole thing together. I think jewelry is always a struggle. Let's just cover it up with some bling bling later to again mask the amateurness. Okay, so this is literally embarrassing, but I just use a chain brush to draw the chains. I cannot be bothered. So I'm basically just gonna shade everything and put the outlines. I once again use the border effect thingy, which created an outline, but only very lightly. I also painted the other side light like this, and then the other side is gonna be dark. Honestly, I'm not really that good at drawing chains, even though swag naturally comes to me. Okay, wait, in case you're judging me because I take the easy way out, I'm not doing anything illegal, okay? This is a free custom brush. I just so happen to be a street smart artist. Anyway, for the shadows, basically just make a duplicate of the chain and then turn it into this solid color and then convert it to multiply mode. I also blurred it a little bit Anyway, it's that easy. Just gonna fix the ear real quick. Okay, so remember when I said we're gonna put some bling bling? Let's put some bling bling over the jewelry and just make it long like that. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I downloaded like a sparkle brush from the asset store and just slapped that baby on there. Remember, not too much. So the moral lesson in this video is that I'm very bad at jewelry. But if you're as bad as I am, you can actually cover it up with some bling bling. Okay, so here's the time lapse if you want to see. Let me know if the jewelry is bad because I seriously gotta up my jewelry game. I won't though if you tell me it looks good. You'll see in the end, I kind of changed her face a lot because I thought the eyes looked weird as heck. Anyway, so this is the before and this is the after. Anyway, if you learned from this video, make sure to like and share it to your friends if you have any. Click this video next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.